how many millions got involved in buying the hours for DD TV from a private entity. Uh, what do you think of the controversy with? Because we're talking about online learning and whatnot, and this is how it is, right? Mm. And then I grew up with TV pendidikan on RTM one and whatever. Now they've gone back from online learning, and then they've gone back to TV learning with Didik TV. What are your thoughts on that? Especially with one of the there was a viral video of a teacher, and I I. I I think it was on the verge of cyber bullying also when those when the viral video came out. But what are your thoughts on Didik TV? I mean, first I was I caught with surprise why it was aired and why Didik TV hmm. is being run. Why education uh, TV, whatever you call TV for Didik, is being run by a, a private institution, a private uh, uh, let me say broadcasting company. Yeah, where is RTM in this? Hmm. I thought we already paid uh, tax. And to RTM, I mean, sorry, to, to the government. Yeah. And RTM belongs to the government. They have a lot of channels. OK TV used to air two hours of uh, uh, TV pendidikan. Mm. Why don't they make use of OK TV? Why must they pay me and another private entity by taxpayers' money for that? And number two, most of these uh, programs uh, involving our teachers. And my question is. Do the teachers get paid well? Mm. Because they they need to to prepare. There's extra so, work. Yeah, yeah. So and and they prepare a lot and they have to teach and sometimes they will push uh, into to swim in the ocean that they're not uh, familiar with. That what yeah. happened to that teacher? If you remember, when I look at her, I know she is loved by her student because yeah. she knows how to teach them their subject uh, the the subject matters. Yeah, yeah. The contents she she knows her contents, but when she was asked to teach in the language that she's not really using it in her daily life, yeah, I think we are we are being unjust to him uh, to her. So this is not her fault. Actually, is the fault of the producer. Mm. Where is the producer, and why? Yeah. And if this is the quality of the contents that they are uh, giving to our children, I. As a taxpayer myself, I would yeah, yeah. I would like to question where is the quality control? Yeah, and at a, I, I keep asking uh, the minister and the parliament saying that they must be very cautious in the quality of the contents. But what I was I was similarly surprised is after two days after they launched TV Pendidikan, the school was opened back, yeah. and nobody 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 asked them. How many millions got involved in buying the hours mm. for DD TV from a private entity? And we keep questioning that sum of money. Why can't we use to produce a higher quality contents, and we can use the existing uh, government-owned uh, platform, which is RPM? Yeah, yeah. That's very basic, and people. I mean, normal people could think about it, but yeah. Since there's no parliament, people couldn't get the answer. What can you do, right? Yeah. No, what can I do? Yeah. But if you remember, uh, JD, when in the second, yeah, second of January, I launched my own TV pendidikan, yeah, yeah, uh, internet platform, Sophia yeah, yeah. my. So I think when I launched that, so they, I, 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 I suppose they feel that oh, an individual can do that. We as ministry, we can do better, lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have and we have to step up in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. So they Plus ended DTV. up after, after two months. They came up with their TV. <laughs> maybe maybe you're going. Hey, this fella, uh, he's doing this thing. We need to we need to one up him and everything. Just we need to get yeah, better yeah. stuff. Now let's talk about um getting back to English also in a way, lah. Because um having been in that place in at the highest level of governance in the country at a ministerial level uh one of the ministers recently was um uh found to have used or mispronounced some words and uh adiba nor very famously actually mentioned uh, that maybe you know um there was a little bit of an adiba nor versus Rina Harun kind of thing going on at, at one point. It wasn't really what it was. I think I I know where Adiba is coming from, uh, being 
uh, an English teacher. But what are your thoughts on this, on ministers using proper English and having good command of English? And t- to be honest, it's not the case in 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 many other countries. You go to Africa, they pronounce worse than Rina Harun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but, yeah. but again, in Malaysia, maybe we, it's just good. I mean, it's bad. It's bad for the ministers to be well prepared. I still remember uh, during my days then, my English is not that good. So uh, whenever I, I'm, 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 I'm preparing my speech, I will make sure that I pronounce things well. And we should make sure that our minister would be presentable, you know. Yes. In their appearance, but also when, when, when they give speeches. when they, Could they represent uh, us? The ra- they represent like, the people. Could the riots sometimes go, ah, yeah. You know, when, when they hear mm-hmm. how our yeah, ministers true. are saying certain things, they're like, ooh, I don't know. Because this is that's our face in public right there, right? Precisely, precisely. And especially nowadays, when they appear on the telly, it's not mm. only... Uh, the Malaysians are watching them. Even people all around the globe are watching them. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, we hope you love that discussion. But for the full discussion and all our other videos, click right here. And remember, don't be a dick. <laughs>